Black Science TV 111, Osaka 4, I'm back at y'all again. Um, everybody hit me up on this death tip. Um, what is death? Now, let me, let me just tell y'all something. We keep on worrying about death being an issue in this so-called life that we are in. Don't you know that death should not be a concern for any of us? You know why? This is why we're so disconnected from ourselves. How the hell that you say that you're spiritual and that you are soul when you are afraid to leave the house that you are in when it becomes oppressed? What do I mean by that? If you're living in a fucking house and it starts burning up in flames, are you going to stay in that house or are you going to leave that house? You're going to leave it, right? Same thing for the fucking body. Why would you let this frequency oppress you? Oh, big badass Christians. Big badass Muslims. We are so disconnected from our soul that we are afraid to leave when we are in a detrimental state physically. I'm going to say that again. We are so disconnected from our soul, which we are. We become the physical so bad to the point where we don't know when to leave the fucking body. Again, if your house catches on fire, you're going to leave that house. Death is nothing but you leaving a house and moving into another one. But y'all run around talking about y'all older than this. We got melanin. We strong. We powerful. The Lord on our side. Jesus got our back. But you fear fucking death. Didn't you a Jesus die on the cross? So if you're walking in Jesus' shoes, why the hell are you afraid to die? Even though he don't exist. Y'all gangster, right? But soon as something happened to somebody in y'all family, y'all want to cry. They didn't get y'all afraid of death. When death is very identical to life. It's like the snake eating his tail. Yeah, and I'm coming for you comedic niggas too. Y'all ain't let off the hook. Y'all talk about Osiris and Horus, right? Huh? Don't y'all talk about Osiris and Horus? But don't you know that Osiris and Horus represent metaphysically the science of death and life? So you can't represent or respect Osiris and Horus if you can't respect life and death equally. It's time for y'all to get off that bullshit because it's, a, it's, it's, it's nothing but a goddamn religion. It's a religion and it's making you afraid of yourself. You are death. You are life. You are the very epitome of the manifestation of that which you are connected to, which is the unknown. It's time to stop playing all of this bullshit so that we can gain self-esteem. Stop trying to put a mask on what you really are and who you really are. You comedic niggas make me sick. All y'all do is run around talking about who built the pyramids. We don't give a fuck who built the pyramids. But you're afraid of death. When death is the first science to Horus and Osiris. And I'm going to do a whole lecture on that. Because y'all run around talking about shit that y'all don't really know about. Your mind is your pyramid. This is how you travel. Your pyramid is your third eye. You have three levels of traveling existence. The number three is a thousand in your dimension. So stop allowing these teachers to keep you in Kemet. Stop allowing these teachers to keep you under the spell of titles because most of these teachers are blind. And we have many teachers out here that's leading the blind. So if your mind is your traveling point and your teachers is guiding your mind and your thoughts and you are your thoughts, then they can keep you in the past from something they don't even know existed their goddamn self. A lot of this shit was constructed by the same people that we are trying to be so envious against when it comes to liberation. We're a bunch of hateful ass people and they've taught you to become hateful by our arrogancy. And it's time for us to wake up and get off of this dumb shit about titles and who's who and who's what and who's older than who. There's no such thing as age. They gave you a goddamn age. So therefore, they're keeping you in the matrix to play their game to keep them alive. So if these teachers is the ones leading your mind and your mind is your elevator or your teleportation to other dimensions, then they are controlling you from being able to see who and what you really are. Everybody is not comedic. All of this is a trick. All of it is a trick. 
being a more is a trick. Because the same people that's running these governments that is oppressing the people, it's the same people that's paying these agents with these feds on their head to get out here and make y'all do paperwork to entice y'all and to affluence you all to do paperwork. Stop being fucking dummies and follow your goddamn self. Black Science TV 111, oh sake of fool, I'm out. Peace. Mixed by Tone. Empire, help me stack up my rich. Stack up my rich. Empire, protect.